Two quick things before we start. First, if you do like this video, please feel free to give it a like. Also, subscribe down below to get notified about new content just like this in the future. Second, I did kind of like a Joshua Bassett rewrite to this song to make it like theologically correct. I had some fun with that. So if you want to see that video, it'll be linked right up there in the corner or in the description. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Here we go. I'm going to teach you guys the intro riff in three different sections. The first will sound like this. The second will sound like this. Finally, now starting on the first one, we're going to be in this G7 chord shape with our middle finger on the third fret of the low E, ring finger on the third fret of the B, and pointer finger on the second fret of the high E. And for the very beginning, we're going to pull off our ring finger and just play an open B string. So to start off, we're going to strike with our thumb, our pointer, and our middle on the low E, the D, and the G strings. Then our middle finger is going to play the B string. We're going to place our ring finger down and we're going to play the B string again with our middle. And then we're going to play the high E string with our ring finger. So now the whole first section will sound like this. For the second section, we're going to go from this shape and we're going to place our pinky on the third fret of the high E. Now we're going to strike the low E and the high E with our thumb and our ring. Now we're going to pull our pinky off and play the high E string again. Now we're going to play the B string with our middle. And then we're going to pull off our ring finger and play the B string again. So now all of section two. The third section is also going to start in this G7 shape, except we're going to take our pointer finger off and we're going to be playing an open E with our ring finger and then the low E with our thumb. Then our middle finger is going to play the B string, then we're going to pull off our ring finger and play the B again, and then put it back on and play the B a third time. So all together. The entire first half of the intro riff is going to use sections one and two along with this D major chord, which is going to have an open A, an open D, and your pointer finger on the second fret of the G. So now section one and section two combined with that will sound like this. The second half of the riff is going to combine sections one and section three with a C major chord here, which is going to have a ring finger on the third fret of the A, our middle finger on the second fret of the D, and our pointer finger on the first fret of the B. So now sections one and three combined with that will sound like this. And that can be used for the intro between a chorus and a verse, between the chorus and the bridge, and then finally for the outro. As I said before, we're going to have our capo on the 5th fret, and we're going to be using chords in the key of G major. Starting off with the G major chord, we're going to have our middle finger on the 3rd fret of the low E, pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the A, and ring and pinky on the 3rd fret of the B in the high E. Next is going to be a C add 9, where we just take our pointer and our middle finger, and we're going to move them down one string. So now you're going to have your middle on the 3rd fret of the A, and your pointer on the 2nd fret of the D. Next we are going to move to a B7 chord, which is going to have our middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A string, pointer finger on the 1st fret of the D string, ring finger on the 2nd fret of the G, an open B string, and then pinky on the 2nd fret of the high E. Another chord is the E minor, which is just going to be our middle and our ring finger on the second frets of the A and the D string, and the rest of the other strings are open. The next is an A7, which is going to have an open A, your middle finger on the second fret of the D, an open G string, your ring finger on the second fret of the B, and then an open high E. 
Using the A7, we're also going to make an A minor 7 shape where we take our ring finger off and put our pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. Next is going to be a D over F sharp, which is going to have our thumb curl over here and fret the second fret of the low E. Then an open A, open D, pointer finger on the second fret of the G, ring on the third of the B, and middle on the second of the high E. And last but not least is the C minor chord. If you already know a B minor, just take that shape and move it up one fret and that'll give you a C minor. But if you don't, we're going to have our pointer finger fretting the third fret of the A string and the high E. We're going to have our ring and our pinky on the fifth fret of the D and the G strings. And we're going to have our middle finger on the fourth fret of the B. We're going to be using the same strumming pattern throughout this entire song, and it's going to sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And then with the G chord, just so you can hear how it sounds with the chord. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So for the verse, we're gonna do one cycle on the G to one cycle on the C add nine. Repeat that one on the G, one on the C add nine. Then one cycle on the G to one cycle on our B seven chord to one cycle on the G, then back to the C add nine, and that'll get you through both verse one and verse two. So now, so you can hear how it sounds. My parents told us when our time on earth is up That there's a place that we would go if we were good Some destination we could never get a taste of Not as long as we're still living in this world Then into the pre-chorus we're going to go to an E minor then to a B7, then to an E minor, then to an A7. So lately I've been questioning my faith. Just one look at you is all it really takes. And we're gonna let the A7 ring. And then for the little ooh section before the chorus, we're gonna play an A minor seven, strum and let it ring, to a D over F sharp, strum and let it ring. And now we're gonna do a little walk down riff into the chorus, which is gonna have our pointer finger, or middle finger, excuse me, on the third fret of the low E. Then we're going to walk down to the second frets with our pointer finger. And then the low open E as we go into our E minor of the chorus. So from the D over F sharp, we're going to go. And then into the chorus, we're gonna have the E minor to an A7 to a C to a G and that'll happen four times. I've always heard there was a heaven. I never knew if it was true. But darling, ever since I met you, I know that heaven is you. Heaven is you. 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 Heaven is you. 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 And then you would play the intro riff either to get into verse 2 or the bridge and the bridge is going to be moving back and forth between the G and the C add 9 and then right at the end we're going to play a C minor. So you're all I ever want, you're all I ever need, you're all I'll ever dream of having. To the C minor and then we're going to go into the final chorus. As we do that, we're just going to play the first half of the chorus, just strumming the chords. I've always heard there was a heaven, never knew if it was true. But darling, ever since I met you, I know that heaven is you, heaven is you. Back to strumming for the second half. For the very tail end of the song, we're going to be finishing on our D shape. Then moving up to a C minor, we're going to play the middle four strings. Now we're going to pull off our middle finger, play the B string again. We're going to pull off our pinky and now fret to the fourth fret of the G with our middle finger and play that with our middle. And now we're going to slide up to make this D7 shape. 
which is going to have our pointer finger here on the fifth fret of the D, or the A, excuse me, our ring finger on the seventh fret of the D, middle finger on the sixth fret of the G, and then pinky on the seventh fret of the B string. And now for the full outro. Now you should know how to play the entire song. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please feel free to give this video a like. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, you can subscribe down below to get notified about new content just like this on Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. And if you want to find my original music, it'll be a playlist in that topic. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.